Alrighty. All right, we're just going to wing it. I haven't prepared anything here. I'm just going to, I haven't done this in a while. So on these um, self-signed certificates. So we're going to uh, do 443 traffic. <clears throat> I've been real busy this morning. So let's see. A uh, friendly name for this certificate is self-signed. Uh Let's see, is that that's that's all I want. Just self-signed. Okay, so self-signed certificate <clears throat> is there. And uh, and then once we do that, we're going to edit bindings. And then we're going to add a 443 binding and do self-signed. Now Let's see. Typically, I do self-sign when I'm on a server. Let's let's try that. Let's try that. All right. Uh, start without my data. I said start without my data. Continue without. Oh, for God's sakes. I hate IE. I really hate it. I really do. I, I've just never liked it. All right. So, okay, so here we go. So this is currently running on the server, all right? Now, if I, if I went <clears throat> over here, you can see it running here as well, right? This is the public IP. But there's a... Let's see if this works, because I haven't done this in a while. All right, so I'm, I've got self-signed, and I'm going to hit OK. And I'm using the backend IP address right there. In fact, no, I'm going to edit that. No, I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. Okay. It's just been a while since I've used self-sign. Now, here still works, right? Now, now if I try HTTPS, 10.0.0.4, was that what it was? 10.0.0.4. Okay, it says your connection is not private, and it's, it doesn't trust it, okay? So it says continue to unsafe. Now, it is using a self-signed certificate right now. Um, let's see... I, Edge doesn't like to, at least I don't know how, but in Chrome, when I install Chrome, uh, Chrome install, you can see the certificate a lot easier. And might as well, you know, just this is open on the Internet so we can go and install this bad boy. And then I can show you what I'm talking about. Now, if we go here, okay, let's test it. If it still works, port 80 still works, okay. Now we're going to change to HTTPS forward slash forward slash. Oops. There. Okay. Did I do that right? Yeah. So 443 traffic, I can't get to that 
server using the public IP with 443 over port 443. But I can do it on the server and got it. Okay. Now let's, let me show you this. This is HTTP. This is on the server. Okay. We're going to go look at it anyway. Now, Certificate not valid. Now, if you look here, it's a, this is the web one certificate. It is a self-signed certificate. So, yeah, so that's, that's our certificate. So the reason it gives you a warning every time is, uh, in the certificate, it just says web one, um, that doesn't match this IP address. You can actually change, um, see colon backslash windows backslash system 32 backslash drivers backslash ETC. You can change this hosts. If you open up with notepad, and I can say web one or no, it goes, oops. Oh, come on. Do, 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 do. Host. All right. Uh, la, 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 la. I want to do, I, I'm trying to remember now that that I want that IP. Okay. Web one. All right. Now, it, oh, it does let me save it. Good. Now, if I change this to web one, good. Now it trusts it. See, web one works. Let's try that again, just to make sure you see it. That's called a loop. That's called a, a um, host file. I can actually web one matches. See that web one. If you go connection is secure, certificate is valid. The common name is web one. I could have called it web one dot Google dot com, whatever. As long as that certificate matches what's in the URL here, you won't get that warning message. All right. <laughs> that works on the server just fine. But now let's try to get it to work over here. And what we're going to do is we're going to add this inbound security rule I talked about earlier, 443. And I'll do an allow on that. Okay. So now we're going to run with this and there, there it is. So uh, now I have 443 traffic. I can go look at it and, but see that works. But if I change this to web one, let's see if that works. I don't believe that'll work. Yeah, that doesn't work because it's not, it's not resolving. You can't resolve web one. You can only resolve it with a host file when you're on the server. If you want to do some testing with an actual you know, let's see. Yeah. So that's it. That's basically it. That's how to do some testing on your server. That's how to get a self science certificate running. I don't want to go any further into this down the rabbit hole, but that's, I haven't done that in a long time. So, um, happy days.